Have you seen the maze-like Tushai cave? A high wall is built at the entrance of the cave and runs through the entire mountain. This mountain is full of caves. Are these mountains empty? Empty. The local old man bluntly said that there is a secret passage in the village. Huge space. Bandits were rampant in the old days. What does it look like inside now? Come with me to find out. When we explore outdoors. High temperature period now. Be sure not to carry tinder with you. To avoid unnecessary dangers. Don't cause any trouble to our firefighters either. Okay, let's move on. Wow. Look. Already seen this city wall. Do you see it? At this time, we arrived at the entrance of the cave. It is said that it is like a maze inside. No locals dare to go in. Said the whole mountain is empty. I was afraid of getting lost after entering. I don't know the exact year of construction of this city wall. It seems that the construction is quite orderly. Is this limestone used? I reluctantly trimmed it with a chisel. Built this big wall. We are now over this wall. Go inside and find out what's going on. This city wall is so neat. Above this. There is this. D.I. Gunyu has been slightly repaired. It's not at home today. Let's go straight into the inner tunnel to find out. You can see this above. There is this square stone hole. There used to be some over the top work done here. How many floors does this village have? There's a big cold wind blowing over there. Now we have the flashlight ready. Keep going deeper. There's a collapsed wall there. Back then, this city wall was built to the top. At least it's sealed to the second floor of this transcendental level. Let's look at this cave entrance again. Is it like a big bell? Let's just call this village Jinjong Village. Because this village has no name. Look inside again. It seems that the area is not large. There's an interior here. There are still signs of fire here. Very dry. It seems like there are traces of someone digging here. There is also this very old firewood pile. I didn't have time to light a fire back then. This person left. Except for some of the ones built against the mountains. Beyond the stone hole. No other remains found. Where did the fire girl go? Fire girl, where are you? Is there another cave here that's deep? It's quite deep here. It's so deep and there's a strong wind blowing out of it. Very narrow. Good. There is still a tunnel here. Let's go in and take a look. It's really very narrow in here. You see, I have to turn sideways to walk. I can barely walk. There's a lot of wind blowing out here. There should be a very wide tunnel inside. Keep going. You have to climb to get through here. Above this crack, it should be a tunnel eroded by water flow because there is still some sedimentary soil on it. But what about this crack? Very stable, so it's very safe for us to walk. But everyone still shouldn't imitate. Now I'm at the front. Let's take a look at what kind of environment it is here. There is water on this ground, and there are some stepping stones. This should be someone from before. He stepped on this stepping stone and entered the cave. I don't know what these bandits were back then. Where did he hide? This is very narrow, but it's just big enough for one person to barely pass through. If you are thin, it's very easy to walk in here. Have you ever had a very suffocating feeling? Because there is confined space phobia words. It would be really torture to walk here. But we have a very rich caving experience, so don't be afraid. We just need to remember the way we came. Let's move on. You can see the stone walls on both sides. They are all very smooth. It should be during the rainy season. There is a strong flow of water to wash it out. So there is water in this one. Make the stone wall smooth. It won't get hung up when walking. It's relatively easier to walk here. Let's move forward quickly. I basically filled the entire width of the cavity. Here we are. 
It becomes narrower. The height of this crack is very high. I don't know where it leads to. But the left and right width still haven't changed. And what about the tunnel we drilled just now? Very similar. So at this time we must find the direction we came from. It will be easier if we go out later. There are always human traces here. These are the stepping stones. So we concluded that there should be the remains of bandits inside. Today's exploration tour of Jinjong village. It's really interesting. It's exactly what the locals said. Everything in this mountain is empty, but the space is not big. It's this little crack that goes all the way deep. Take a look at what kind of environment it is in front of here. It's very narrow here. And there are always people laying this stepping stone. Keep going I don't know how deep. Let's move on wow. This is the dead cave. Did you see? This crack. This is a dead hole. A relatively narrow crack is formed here. No one can get through it. And there are no traces of human activity here. Let's go back the same way and continue exploring other caves. Now we are withdrawing. How far did you drill? How far did you drill in a few hours? Oh my god. Finally saw the sunshine outside again. Oh my god. They all look the same. The more you drill, the narrower you get. I'm afraid of getting lost in there. All three people came out very safely. It's inside. I did find this cave that looks like a maze. This village can be said to have a long history, but no inscriptions were found inside. In other words, what is the specific construction period? We have no way of knowing. Is this village exactly what the locals said? Said there were bandits in there once. Thousands of people have been killed here. It's also unknown. Because no bones were found inside. It's just a very narrow crack. Keep going deep, and it happens thousands of times. Like a maze. Well, today's exploration is still very interesting. The video is coming to an end here. Follow me to show you more beautiful scenery. Take you to experience a different adventure trip. See you in the next video. Bye bye. This is a canyon sinkhole that no one has set foot in for hundreds of years. According to local herbal collectors, there is an old castle at the bottom of the sinkhole. It was built by Liu Yuanwei in the 35th year of Qianlong reign of the Qing dynasty. It has a history of more than 200 years. To avoid banditry, Yuan Liu withdrew from the sinkhole and never came out again. Now the internal situation has become an unsolved mystery. So does the castle really exist? Follow me with professional rope technology. Real shots of the Liu Jia Big Pit exploration tour. It is said that this pit was created more than 200 years ago. A pit where Liu family members hide treasures outside. Neither the last person nor the treasure came out. The depth of the pit has never been explored yet. The depth of the pit has never been explored yet. We use professional SRT technology to go into the cave to find out. Okay, let's get started. Arrive at the entrance of the Liu family pit. I'm protected now. I am a pioneer. Be the first to open the line. You can see that the bottom is very high. Cliff. But this is a dense forest and you may not be able to tell it. Drop more than 50 meters. Prepare to make a protection station here. Here is this thing that no one has noticed for more than 200 years. Liu family pit. There are still more than 30 meters to go. I made a ballet station here. Found this rhubarb essence. This is what everyone calls tiger ginger. What a big plant. He looks very fat. Because I was born on this cliff. Even now that I have grown so big, I haven't been poached by anyone. Let's not hurt it either. But it's just above the descent line we laid out. You have to move it gently with your feet and hands. Okay, keep going down. There's a cave over there. I still don't know what's going on here. From here, it looks like Yamawangu. This big hole in the Liu family feels quite scary. Keep going down. Above is the outdoor view to the sun. Below is Shun to outdoor road brother. It came down very smoothly. In the direction of my finger, there is a slit where the mist rises. That should be the main entrance of the Liu family pit. This is with us. The Yamawang Valley we visited in Wulong last time. Very similar. It can be said that the topography and vegetation, they are all exactly the same. I feel like we have all traveled to Wulong, Chongqing. The King of Hell Pavilion, the Valley of Hell has gone. It really feels like traveling through time. Because there is also a long slip below. But this scale, it's much smaller than the one at Yanwangu. From here it looks like there are cliffs all around. 
There are also local herbal collectors. Here it is. Conducted many explorations. We haven't even explored the bottom of this sinkhole. Where are we today? Let's conduct a thorough investigation into this big hole in the Liu family. Real photos of adventure records. Okay, not much to say. It is said that this Liu Yuan Wai, with his family of more than 40 people, once you enter this hole, you never get out. That should be from the attic to the entrance of the cave. Ah, there is a covered bridge coming here like this. Right, right, right. There are a few steps to climb here. Now I'm here as a pioneer. The attic is gone when you go up here. But you can see the square holes on the stone wall. Let's make a nail climbing system from here and go up. There is a city wall and a natural bridge on top. Root it from here like this. Perfect drying. I used professional nail climbing techniques, crossed this pool, and from this side, it came up almost 5 meters away. I can see the city wall right in front of me. It won't take long now for us to enter this cave entrance. Okay, keep going. From here, can be seen, someone once lived here. There is a round square hole like this, and there is also one there. There's also this one opposite. There used to be a covered bridge built here. There is such a small nest here. The entrance is right above. I will make a big U now. Then ask your teammates to come over from this big U. There is no need for them to step into the puddle below. Okay, let's continue writing the manuscript. There are obvious traces of human life here. Old bowl. What happened before this? Let's move on. Moving forward, ah, there's a hole in front of us. There's a hole over there. But I can't get through here. There should have been a bridge here. I don't know how deep the cliff below is. Let's throw a stone and take a look. Casting stones to ask for directions. Oh my god. There is a cliff 30 or 40 meters high here. Look, there is a city wall on the opposite side. There are also black wooden boards over there. How can you get in? It is possible to make a point here. Lay it out like this. The width used to be not wide. Maybe only about 3 meters. But there's a big cliff ahead. This is a bit difficult to do. We'll discuss the plan after our teammates come up. Because it's very high down here. And the rock formation is unstable. I've put up protection now. Let's take a look at this big cliff. There is no bottom below. Misty. With double protection. Because I'm more afraid. Take a look below. This is a bottomless black hole. Brother Pow has already opened the line here. Artificial fortress. There is also a dark wood here. It should be the wood that was once used to make this wooden bridge. There's a bowl bottom underneath this. Still a vegetarian. It also came with this security system. You can see there's a walkway up here. It should lead to the upper level of this cave. Let's go up and have a look. It's very humid here. Probably not suitable for human habitation. There is this kind of fortress built up here. Just came down from here. Brother Pow is exploring inside that. Let's take a look. There are fragments of blue and white porcelain here. Did you see? There is a broken bridge here. Can see. What's the scene outside? This was supposed to be a sentry post. Climbing up should be one. Is a place to sleep. Because this top is relatively dry. It can only be said that relatively speaking. Now we are stepping on a platform. Where in life do we not meet? Is this the path to Tai Tai? A small road comes this way. There's a stand on top of this. Do you see a stove here? It seems like there is an iron bucket or something outside. Let's take a look. This is an earth stove. There's a stove here. It is very rare to have a stove. This is my first time seeing you. 
hide here from the bandits. It's really interesting. The scenery from here is very good, but it's very humid. Brother Huang is too big down there. This crack. We have finished visiting this place. Let's go take a look at the big cave over there. Don't think that you enter this kind of village just to hunt for treasure. What kind of treasure do you think this is? This is totally worthless. My living treasure. There's a treasure here. Hey hey. Because of this village. Or it's the bandit village. Or it's a stronghold to guard against bandits. When he left. They will remove everything inside. What we can see now. Just talking about some relics of his life here. Don't think that entering a village like this is a treasure hunt. This and that are impossible. But this village should be hundreds of years old. This is our first time. Enter this village. There are many nocturnal sands on the ground. Yemingsha is bat excrement. It should be evening. There are many bats roosting here. We follow this cliff and go deeper. Where is Xiangyang? We pass this big cave hall. There is a small well here. Small well. There are two levels of tunnels here. Take a look at what kind of environment it is like above. The cavity is a bit bigger. The cave is huge. Go up and explore. What? Are there any man-made remains? No, no. Big shaft. You can't get through here, right? Can't go up. Go up here. This can go up. That's not bad. But the scenery is beautiful. This is so shocking. Is there any water coming down here? It's so hot here. Going to collapse. Look good. But this should be dissolved by water. Should be very strong. You can see that there are water and rocks all around here. Let's go up here and take a look. This should be water soluble. I feel. We came up from here. Everyone thinks this is erosion type. Or is it water soluble? Still a collapse type. I feel like this is eroded by water. Look, there is a bucket here. This calcification pool is so beautiful. Look here again. Above this. No more tunnels, because Brother Pao is over there. Found this fresh leaf. So I climbed up from here. Now the cowherd and the weaver girl are here. See here is a cliff. I'm from below. Came up with bare hands. Where did this leaf fall from? I go now. Go check it out now. See if there is another exit here. Or rather the bottom of a sinkhole. Let's move on. I thought there was a tunnel here. Actually there isn't. There's a platform down here. Look here again. There are leaves here too. Did you see? There's a cave up there. There should be a connected underground river there. It should be during the rainy season. There is a lot of water rushing down from here. That means this. Inside the Liu family pit, it is fed by several mountain springs. An underground river was also discovered here. But we are the exit from it. Looking up. So here it looks like this. All of us came over. But still haven't figured it out. How did this shaft form? In other words, all the big holes in the Liu family have been discovered. I don't understand this. So far. Let's start with this. The Liu family has withdrawn from Daikeng village. Nothing found inside. What is this old man's legend about? Pots and pans, these things. But inside. A large number of man-made forts were discovered. I didn't see Liu Yuanwei's family of more than 40 people inside. Traces of life. It's possible they are. Evacuated without the knowledge of the local villagers. So it's empty inside. We found some shafts inside. It's really shocking. At this time, let's climb this rope of more than 150 meters. Why they came out of this big hole in the Liu family. I also hope that I can insist on seeing my friends here. Can give a little care. Exploration is not easy. Look and cherish it. Okay follow me. 
take you to see more beautiful scenery, let you reveal more strange things. That's it for this video of ours. See you next video. Bye bye.